okay so for creating a table you want to click the tables right click the table and then new table and then give the column name as cust id and then the data type as integer and then this is the checkbox for allowing nulls or not allowing nulls okay customer id is not nullable okay and then the uh, customer first name and then it's the where care or just type it in here where care 50 okay and then first name is nulls not allowed okay and then middle name where care 50 and then nulls are allowed and then date of birth date time nulls not allowed okay so these three these four columns we created and then these are the other properties which you can change it but for now let's leave that I will tell you whenever the time comes for uh, when we are working on those okay but then all it says is like um, select this the property will be changed here select this the property will be changed so that uh, these are the properties for each column okay see these are the column properties and then you will see the column name the data type the length the length is the what is the data type where care length okay 50 something okay and then um, identity property is the important thing I will be telling you about that okay but for now let's say just we have create we have just given all the column properties now just right click and then right click on this okay right click and then save table and then it will asks you to choose the table name let's say cust okay and then say okay now close this window and then do refresh you will see a new table called custom cust okay these are the column properties now we know how to create a table using a query and then also using the graphical user interface now let's see what we have created a table now we want to see what is there in the table the table will be empty obviously because we did not insert any data so how do we see what is there in the table we will use a command called select So you will say select star from what is the table name customers select star from cust see this select statements are very simple this is the command star means you want to see all the columns in the table this is from command this table that's the table name select star from table name select star from table name just run these two queries in our query window just do these select these two and then execute it now you will see the first table returned all the column names but there is no data the second table also returned all the column names but no data we will talk about the select commands and then insert commands other DDL commands in tomorrow's class